he had threatened one of our officials, and the NBA fined him $25,000, and we felt as a group that he should have been suspended. And because he wasn't, we felt like we would teach him a lesson. During that time, you worked an Iverson game in January 6, 2007. So you bet against Iverson's team. Correct. Because you knew that all the refs that were gunning for him. This was openly discussed. Openly discussed. And I knew that the other two referees and I sought out to uh, do a little justice of our own. The refs quickly called curious fouls on Iverson, including rarely called fouls for palming. And Iverson is so upset about that palming call. They threw his game off, and his team lost. According to the game's announcers, even late in the game, you kept hurting Iverson's team by letting defenders bludgeon him without calling any fouls. Watch. Tim Dunning will not call a foul when Iverson goes to basket. A three in a row where he got the basket, got fouled, we thought, no call. What are we looking at? We're looking at a foul that was let go. Obviously, uh, in the pregame meetings, we came to the conclusion that we were not going to give Allen Iverson any um, marginal plays for the basket. And that absolutely should have been called a foul that I and the other referees passed on. Did anyone in the NBA know about it? There was a group supervisor at the game that came in at halftime who was laughing and stated that he felt that Iverson had gotten the message. So the supervisor approved of your punishing Iverson. Official Ken Maurer, and it's uh, all a reaction to this play off the drive. He felt he was was fouled. This is all part of the frustration of the uh, blowout by the Pacers. Now watch this. He chases Maurer to the other side and is very upset. You'll see assistant coach Maurice Cheeks come out to try and restrain Iverson. Iverson kept going, uh, kept talking to Maurer. He was hit with two technical fouls. He has been ejected, and Larry Brown came out. He was hit with a, a technical. Allen Iverson has been ushered off to the Philadelphia locker room. And if Philadelphia can carry some of this anger, some of this frustration, some of this edge, take it from the referees and put it into the beginning of their game, maybe they can have a chance of taking some of this perfection that we've seen from the Indiana Pacers. Over to Annie Johnson, both with John Goble right there. And there it is, technical. And there goes Iverson. Somebody needs to grab him, make sure he doesn't touch the official. But John Goble, and I, I didn't see the second play, but but he missed, he made a bad call up here, a no call in the first one. So Iverson's out, ejected. And we got a technical on J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith's going to get kicked out. Mark Davis. Now, J.R. didn't need to do that. That's been the money for no reason. Hardaway facing up on Snow. Iverson reaches in to swipe it. Allen Iverson, fifth in the league in steals, shows you why. And then, double dribble. Little help from the official Penny Hardaway. He just, he just got through dribbling. You can't do that again. And Iverson is saying, you don't realize what happened. But this was a nice effort by Iverson to get control. Now, now he's, he stands there, and he stands there. It's like he knows he can't dribble again. He looks back at Ronnie Nunn right there. It's like he said, Ronnie said, okay, so I'll go. Sixers <laughs> by eight. Allen Iverson with 21. No foul is call on that, although Iverson felt there should have been. You see him hopping up. He's been talking with the officials quite a bit and had this conversation with you, Evans, a short time ago. He's right in front of you, man. He's right in front of you, dude. Come on, baby. I ain't trying to show you up now, but it's right there. It's right there, man. Oh, you feel it? No, I didn't say that. I actually, well, you finished because you, you came over very politely and we talked. And, and if I missed it, I missed it. So you were very polite, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I get all game, huh? If you miss it, I miss it. <laughs> the best part of it is, it ain't right. Has <laughs> <laughs> had the hot hand in this uh, first half. Off the fake, felt he was fouled right there and then discussed the call or what he felt was a lack of a call with the official Joe Forte. Let's pick it up. I see him get you here. You continue on everything is right. If I stop it, I guess I can't put you in the, in the act for the try. Okay, so I just use good judgment and let you go on with the play. 
and it worked and out. I missed the shot, then. No, you made the shot. No, I'm saying I missed you, it. Not you. You wouldn't miss it. You wouldn't miss it. Bad enough. Not you. Yes, not you. Have faith. That's a, I think that's a great piece of, of officiating. I mean, clearly, the foul was well before the play, so if he does call the foul, Sixers get the ball out of bounds. You let the play happen. I think that's smart, and then good response there. Five no foul calls on the physical play on the part of the Lakers. I'm not going to see everything, all right? They have so a great time. Foul. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but why you, why you like, always, I'm telling you, if I see something's a foul, I'm going to blow the whistle, all right? I'm just trying to say, stay in your game, I'll stay in the mine, let's go. I'm into all my right? game, Steve. I'm, I'm, trying, finals, to, I'm trying to be in the mine, too. Finals. I want to try to make every call right. I'm not going to be right, unfortunately, 100% of the time. All right, just, I'm just saying, why I'm smacking in my face. Why I will. Saying? You I got it. Such a rational explanation from the official, Steve well, Javid. What you can see is Derek Fisher is using the one hand and trying to get it in Iverson's face to disrupt his vision. Iverson said, you know what, I've been hit three times now. Please watch it. Iverson. Yes. And Teron Lue was all over. Out of Williamson. He's lost it and drew the foul. Technical foul has been called. It's on Philadelphia. It's on Iverson. All oh, these guys want to get out and run. Well, here, here's that call that went against Monty Williams and Iverson that got them the tee. Technical foul. Hey. Listen, it wasn't your play, and you went from there to there and brought the crowd down. You're not going to do what? it. Crowd down. Crowd down. Yeah, these people here understand. Are you worried about them instead of refereeing the game? My job is to referee the game. All right, so what you worried about the crowd? Please? Alan, that's because you're not going to do that. Play the game yourself. You let people get it away. Alan, the conversation right, well, is you. over. Allen Iverson with five personal fouls. It's been a long time since we've seen that coming out of AR. I thought the three charging fouls were pretty good. I thought that one, I disagreed with that one. And I disagreed with this one here as well, because I thought he had position. Those three offensive fouls, consecutive ones, within a one minute 46. All day long, he's 11th in the league in field goal percentage. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Iverson fouls out of the game, his fourth offensive foul of the game. And this comes with 5.49 to go in the fourth quarter. So Allen fouls out for the second time this year. Well, let's take a look at it. Allen Iverson trying to go to the hoop. Wow. One more look at it. Let's see who comes over. Hilario. Takes the hit, gets knocked to the floor. Allen, knocked to the floor as well. It comes with the Sixers leading by 10, 88-78. One more look at Hilario taking the charge on Iverson. We have a timeout, 5.49 to play in the fourth. But Iverson off to a seven-point start. He wasn't crazy about the non-call on this play right here against Hunter. He was looking for a foul. The offensive foul was called by Sean Corbin. He almost threw the ball, and that's where I said he held his patience pretty well. Then he thinks he gets fouled on this breakaway. Also goes down hard to get the layup. And so at the end of the quarter, finally, he decided it was time to say something. The ball gets twirled, and whatever came out of his mouth was a little twisted, too, and there's the technical. Make two passes, the shot goes up, and you still have white jerseys coming across half court. And now Allen Iverson gets called for another offensive foul, much like the first one that ended up costing him a technical, and this time he's just smiling. Now Derek Home was still talking to the ref about wanting to call, wanted a foul on the Bobby Sura play. Didn't get away, didn't get all the way back on the defense, allowing a wide open layup. Uh, th that's not, this isn't a foul here. I mean, this is a, a, a no call or it's a foul against Bob Surrey. Yeah. About six seconds. And now they call holding the ball. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what Bradley. that was. That was a Steve jab. You don't shake your head while you're dribbling the ball to half court when you think he should have got a foul. I agree with I'll you. I'll tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to run this game. That's Steve Jabby right there. Yep, I agree 100%. I mean, that's, he does that every time down the floor. He does that every time he puts it on the floor. Yeah. 
But that's just Steve Jaggy telling Allen that I'm running the show out here. And don't try to show me up by shaking your head wishing you had a call. And now we have the brotherly fans <laughs> letting Steve Javi know. Chance of me missing that easy layup like that. I mean, when I went up, he just went around pulling me like this. That's why the ball was and so if I'm, if I'm behind you, how can I see that? Oh, I you know say you ain't see it, though. I mean, I that's said, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I mean, no, I didn't right, see it, Alan. I, I can live with that. You know what I mean? If I saw that, I would definitely call it. That sounds that. easy enough. I can live with that. Leading his case with Steve Javi on this play by Chauncey Billups, where he kind of got him in the ribs on the way by. Didn't finish the layup, and that the discussion on our court sounds tonight. Incredibly small gap. He's trying to force the issue right now. Oh, there's the offensive foul. It's a third one called against Iverson in the ball game. And the technical. And every time it's been a shoulder bump on Bob Sura. Well, again there, Bob Sura's not in position. I He's think when Allen moving. Iverson gets in trouble is when he lowers that shoulder and tries to get the counter. Hitting on to Iverson, double teaming him at will. And Philadelphia will call the timeout. Big run here. And a technical foul, Steve, called on Allen Iverson. Scott Foster did not like the way Iverson threw the ball in his direction, and Iverson is being restrained by his teammates. Here's, here's another look at it. Iverson, as the timeout was called, watch this, fired it in the direction of Scott Foster, and that is a no-no. He's teed up. Can't do that. That's 19 points for Thomas. He's hit all five of his shots in this fourth quarter. And a timeout is called by Iverson, who gingerly <laughs> brings the ball to the official. He faked giving it to Scott Foster, who had teed him off. Instead, hands it to the veteran, Jack Neese. Glad they have a sense of humor. So, Steve Jabby has just thrown Allen Iverson out of the game.